October is the month of prayer and Holy Rosary. Let's welcome this month by praying for God's favor, His joy, His goodness, and His blessings. May God hear us as we sincerely begin this prayer by performing the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father God, thank you that this new month of October is finally here. I want to begin by remembering your faithfulness in my life. You have helped me in all these past months, and so I will continue to praise you during this new month of October. Lord God, I also come before you to confess my sins and to seek forgiveness. I am an imperfect person who has fallen short of your glory. Please cleanse me from my sins. Forgive me for the times I have lied and for the times I was excessively angry. Forgive me for judging others and for the times I didn't help others. Please help me become a better person with your forgiveness and wisdom. Father, I entrust to you the month of October. May all my needs, my financial problems, my family problems, my health problems be resolved. I know that you will not allow me to lack in anything. For this new month of October, I especially ask for this special grace. During this time, please ask for everything you need and believe in your heart that God would answer you. Write down your intentions in the comments with faith. Lord God, I come before you with an open heart. I have verbally confessed to you my desires and hopes. So at this moment, I claim that these matters inside my heart and mind will receive answers. Thank you, Lord, that I can speak to you freely and that you are readily available at all times. Teach me not to worry because you will continue to provide all my needs with your richness and glory. Give me a still and sound mind that focuses on you because I know that having you as a foundation is a big blessing of life. For this month of October, please bless my family. Keep them safe from harm and continue to shower them with your grace and protection. Give them good habits and protect them from wrong company. Guide my family so that all together we will all be pleasing to you. You have put them into my life for a reason. I want to live a life that is pleasing to you, my Lord. One of my desires is to be close to your heart. Keep me and my loved ones close to your sacred heart. I also pray for our country and the world. Every day there is so much grief and sadness in the world. I lift up the people whom I do not know, the ones who are suffering. Lord, please have mercy on their lives and ease their pain. I pray that they find comfort in you. May they all understand that at difficult times, worshiping and praising you is the best decision they will ever make. Keep my community peaceful and caring for each other. Please continue to bless me with an environment where I can grow and nurture love towards different people. Father, I lift to you the work of my hands. May my efforts be pleasing in your sight. If I work at a job, please bless my job and my finances. If I am retired, please show me how I can spend more time doing your holy will. If I am studying, please bless me with wisdom. I offer this in thanksgiving for all the kindness and favor you have blessed me with. I know that with your grace, I will be blessed with goodness for all the work that I will do in the month of October. Thank you, Father, for hearing the prayers I have said today. I know no detail escapes you, and I am confident that my concerns have caught the attention of the one and only living God. This truth alone is enough for me to believe that there are more good things ahead, and that is why this October I will continue to pray and communicate with you, because this month of prayer is a testimony that you have accepted me with open arms. I claim that my prayers are with you. And in you, 
I place my trust and confidence forever. Now we will say a scripture verse from the Bible to bless this new month. Psalm 145, a psalm of praise. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule is for all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his actions. The Lord helps all who fall. He raises up all who are oppressed. All eyes look to you and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all his acts. The Lord is near all who call out to him, all who call out to him with integrity. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry for help and saves them. The Lord guards all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth will declare the Lord's praise. Let every living thing bless his holy name forever and ever. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful psalm from the Holy Bible. I truly believe that you help those who fall. You raise those who are oppressed. All living creatures depend on you for food, and you give it to them at the proper time. During this month of October, I pray that you will grant the desires of my heart. Give me a heart of prayer and love. Make my heart joyful so that I will praise you with all my heart during this month. I thank you in advance for all the blessings you have for me during October. As October unfolds, I come before you, humbled and grateful for the blessings you have bestowed upon my family. In this glorious autumn month, I ask for your continued guidance and grace to be upon us. Help me to be a loving and nurturing presence in my family's lives, directing them towards unity and harmony. May my words and actions reflect your love and wisdom as I strive to create a warm and nurturing home for my loved ones. Fill our hearts with compassion and understanding so that we may support and encourage one another in times of joy as well as trials. Help us to cherish each precious moment together and deepen our bonds, fortifying the foundation of our family's love. In this season of harvest and transitions, I pray for your guidance in raising our children. Grant me the patience and wisdom to provide them with a safe and nurturing environment where they can learn, grow, and flourish. May I be the kind of parent that instills in them values of kindness, respect, empathy, and faith. Guide me in teaching them the importance of gratitude for the blessings we receive and the significance of extending love and compassion to those in need. Lord, help me to be an example of a faithful and devoted servant, both to my family and to you. I pray for your divine guidance and intervention in my journey towards physical and mental well-being. Grant me the strength and discipline to make healthy choices that nourish my body and promote vitality. Help me to cultivate habits that prioritize exercise, proper nutrition, and sufficient rest. For I understand that my body is a temple that deserves to be cared for and cherished. Please heal any ailments or illnesses I may be experiencing and provide me with the fortitude to face any health challenges that lie ahead. With your divine touch, grant me the energy and resilience to overcome any obstacles and help me to lead a life filled with vibrant health and wellness. In this month of October, I lift up to you those who are suffering from illness or injury. I ask for your healing touch to be upon them. Bring comfort to those battling chronic conditions and grant them the strength to endure their journey towards recovery. I also pray for the healthcare professionals who tirelessly dedicate their lives to the well-being of others. Bless their hands as they administer care and grant them the knowledge and compassion to make the right decisions for their patients. Lord, I know that health is a precious gift. 
and I trust in your infinite wisdom and love to guide me in maintaining and restoring it. With gratitude in my heart, I place my health and the well-being of others in your capable hands. God, I thank you for the opportunities and abilities you have given me that enable me to contribute to society through my work. Lord, I pray that you would grant me strength and determination as I face each day in my job. Help me to approach my work with a positive attitude, diligence, and integrity. Guide me in making wise decisions and grant me the wisdom to solve any challenges that may arise. Open doors for me professionally and provide me with the discernment to recognize new opportunities that come my way. Lead me towards growth and advancement, both in my skills and responsibilities. Lord, I trust in your divine plan for my career and ask for your guidance and favor as I strive to excel in my work. In this month of October, I lift up to you those who are seeking employment. As I count my own blessings, I pray for those who are currently searching for a job. Grant them strength and perseverance in their journey. Guide them towards opportunities that align with their skills and passions. Provide them with the confidence and wisdom to present themselves well in interviews and make favorable impressions on potential employers. Help them to remain hopeful and resilient, even in the face of rejection or discouragement. Lord, I pray that you would open doors for them and bless them with a fulfilling career that allows them to use their talents to make a positive impact. I believe in your divine provision and trust that you will provide for them in your perfect timing. During this month, we will also pray for peace in our family and countries which need peace. Countries such as Ukraine, countries in the Middle East, Taiwan and China. We also pray for countries which have been struck by calamities like hurricanes in the US and Canada and floods in Pakistan. We pray that by the intercession of St. Francis, there will be peace in these countries and around the world. Let us pray. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. To unlock the full potential of this prayer, it is suggested that you repeat it every day for the next nine days. Share it with anyone who needs its support and subscribe to receive new and influential prayers. Don't forget to click on the bell button and select all to stay updated. Get ready for a powerful new series that is sure to transform your life. We have limited spots available, so click the link in the description and find out how you can receive it for free. Thank you for tuning in to watch the prayer for October, and may God's blessings be with you.